the amount of data that comes out of apps and that comes out of software, that comes out of phones or general devices is now so large and traded so heavily that in a recent review, the US intelligence agencies have said, yeah, the kind of stuff you can buy online about people is now sort of comparable to the information we get from actual spying on people. That's a very scary thought. Now we know how much spying the real agencies do. And it also confirms that the advertising people are doing a similar amount. That's big. That's big, all that data. And in many places, it's even sort of semi-legal or just entirely legal to go to a so-called data broker. And there you can tell, well, I would like to target the following kinds of people. And you can say, well, people who are uh, recently pregnant or people interested in abortion services. And those can be targeted now in the US. And they found you can easily order a list of these people and start prosecuting them. But it's not just inconvenient that people leak your data. It could actually land you in jail or get you killed. In uh, Texas, you can now make $10,000 uh, if you hire a data broker to figure out something is trying to have an abortion. This is obviously a very bad situation. It's all on the market now. And that market is huge. And it's terrible. And whose fault is this? Well, they got that data from us. Every piece of software that collected your location or blood pressure all came out of a piece of software written by software developers. So this is a terrible situation and we typed it in. That's not good.